part eight of Falling Skies in Python 3 for beginners. Uh, in this uh, lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to put images into uh, our game um, and make it just much more visually appealing. So let me show you what we have so far. Okay, so we've got what we consider our good guys here, our bad guys here. When we collect a good guy, we get extra score. And when we touch a bad guy, we uh, lose points and lose a life. So far, nothing happens. There's no repercussions. Uh, maybe we can add that at a later point if we have time. So I'm going to close that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change those shapes into images. And it's very, very simple. Um, this is why, again, I, I set things up a certain way. This is uh, this process, you, know, you might hear it called wireframing um, or using primitives. So we have the game functioning basically how we want it to function. Now all we got to do is just swap in some images. Okay, so a couple things about images uh, in in this in Python, we're using the turtle module, so we have to use GIF images. So what I did was I went to a site called OpenClipArt.org, um, and I wanted a deer image, so I typed deer, and I can scroll down and find something I like. There's a bunch of them, as you can see. And I think this was the one that I ended up using. Okay, so now. You can see it's a very large image. So what you want to do is you want to download it, small image. Okay. Now here's the problem. It is a PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and show that in Finder. And then I'm going to open that with the GIMP. Uh, now if you use uh, Photoshop, you can do this in Photoshop. There are other programs that will do this. But what I need to do is I need to do two things. I need to resize it. So I'm going to go to Image, Scale Image, and you'll see where it has width and height. So I want it to be 40 by 40. So 40, 43 is close enough. Click Scale, it changes the size. Then what I have to do is I have to go up to File. You can't see it on the screen, sorry. Uh, on GIMP, it's Export As, but I think on Photoshop, it's Save As. Um, you got to find GIF image. Okay. And figure out where you're going to save it and then save it. Um, you have to put this as a GIF also. Okay, and save it. So I've, and click export. I've already done this on my computer. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, so I'm going to discard changes. And so what I have in, in my folder for this particular game uh, is you'll see I have deer right GIF. That's the deer facing right. I have deer left GIF. And I have also I also have a background which I made, and I have a hunter GIF and I have a nut GIF. So those are the shapes I'll be using. So let me show you how to put those into your code. Now they have to be in the same folder as your code for that to work. So where we have up here, so win.bgpick, and I forget what I called it, and it has to be the exact same title. That's the wrong thing. Um, So I gotta go to documents, programs, sorry, it's falling. And so dear right dot dot gif, dear left dot gif, background dot gif. That was the one I was looking for. So I'm gonna go to type background dot gif. I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna run this and see what happens. Now I got an error. Now this is what I expected. Um, depending on how you're running your program. This will differ from operating system to operating system. This will differ from uh, program to program. If this was in BB Edit, it would work just fine. Okay. What I have to do is I have to make sure that I'm in the exact same folder So if I look at all the files, I have to CD to the right folder. If you don't know what that means, you're gonna have to Google it or figure out how it works on your operating system. I can't help you with that, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, Google is your friend. So I'm in the same folder with all of my files. Now, when I run it, it will find it. Alternatively, you can put the path. So I think this is on like documents in my computer, Python, blah, 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 blah. So you have to put the exact path. If you're on Windows, it'll be something like C colon, blah, blah, blah. I don't use Windows. Um, so I'm going to run that again. So what I do is I have a background GIF. 
Okay, so already it looks a lot better. The GIF is 800 pixels by 600 pixels. It gives it a little bit of a picture. So for images, what I need to do is I need to register them. So I'm going to type win.register shape. And I had deer left dot GIF. Capitalization counts, especially depending on your operating system. I think there were five images. Was it deer left, deer right? I had nut and I had hunter. So once the shapes are registered, I have to tell where I want to use it. So for the good guys, so the shape is going to be nut.gif. The bad guy, it's the shape is going to be hunter.gif because I've registered it. So let's run that. Okay, can't open shot deer nut. <laughs> Oops. So it's nut.gif and hunter.gif. Okay, so now we have some shapes. Okay, I can catch that. I can touch the hunters. Hunters are bad. Alrighty. And so that's how we get those images. Now for the deer, um, we can say, let's see where we're at here. We say deer, let's just start the deer right.gif. Let's run that and test it. Okay. Now, again, I can leave the game like this. Okay. But what I want to do is I want the deer to turn left and right. So in my function, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Oops, where's that? Player. I'm going to copy this line. I'm going to say when player direction is left, oops, that's wrong, obviously. And I'm going to say also make sure the player shape is deer left. So in that function, I'm changing the direction and I am actually changing the image. So let's do that. So you can see how now it turns left and right. Now, the next thing I want you to watch is watch the collision. You see how. I had to get really close and it kind of overlapping there. It's because the images we used, as I said earlier, are 40 by 40. So the distance, we have to change this distance here to 40 because the images are bigger than those basic shapes were. So I just need to change those two lines if the distance is less than 40 and then we'll have better collisions. Okay, you see how it it's colliding a little bit sooner, which is what we want. Okay, And that's basically how you add images. It's, it's only a few lines of code. Um, again, depending on your the, the software that you're using to write your code, um, it may or may not work. You may have to do what I did here, CD into the directory. Um, like I said, for my students, if you're using BB Edit, it should work just fine as long as the images are in the same folder. If you're having problems with that, please Google how to do that on your operating system and with your uh, editor. Okay, so next up is how to add some sounds.